is what's up this is another iOS app development video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a random number generator that generates a hundred percent random numbers so um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while that's because I've been moving so please bear with me but uh, now that's over so I probably will be able to keep bringing you videos every week and uh, also a big thank you to all my new subscribers and viewers that's awesome but uh, without further ado let's get started so uh, we're just gonna select a basic single view application we will be fine we can call it random um, number generator uh, you can call it whatever you like and then just click next make sure storyboard is not checked off and unit it doesn't really unit test doesn't matter and make sure uh, use automatic reference counting is checked off okay um, so once that's all done just click next and click create save it to wherever you like it of course and um, of course randomness and uh, that subject of like probability and randomness it's a huge field um, there's a lot to be learned of course I'm only scratching the surface with like a, a really basic number generator but of course you can search that and uh, learn more uh, but anyways we're gonna go into our view controller dot h and uh, after the UI view controller we're gonna do open curly brackets and close those and inside of those curly brackets what we're gonna do is make a label to display our random number random number so we're gonna do IB outlet UI label and we'll call it um, label so um, just keeping it real simple of course you can call it whatever you like um, but here we created a simple label and that's all you need in between the brackets and outside those brackets what we're going to do is an action so we're going to do dash id action and we can call it generate uh, id center sender sorry and this will be the action that will execute once we press our button so you can copy that and that's all we need in our uh, viewcontroller.h and we can go into our viewcontroller.m now paste in that action or of course you can type it instead of semicolons we're going to open curly brackets and close them and inside of there we're going to start making a randomness so we're going to do int which is an integer which is a number a whole number and um, we can call it whatever we like we like and let's just call it my random number equals um, arc for random I'll tell you why I'm using this in a second and then percent and then whatever you like it whatever number you would like so I'm gonna just do 500 now this means um, right here this is our random randomness this is how we get our randomness with arc for random you can also use rand or random I'll get back to that in a second and then percent and then 500 this means it will generate a random number between 0 and 500. Of course, you can uh, put whatever number, literally any number, um, but I'm just choosing 500 because I don't know. Uh, but that's fine. And the reason I like using arc for random is, unlike rand, you don't have to seed it. And what seeding does is um, it basically gets the mm -hmm. randomness for you. Um, without seeding a random number, uh, without seeding... Um, like when you're using rand, uh, each time you launch the application, it will be the same set of random numbers. Uh, so let's say you launched it with rand, and it would be 1 and maybe 30 and 28, and you close the application totally and reopen it, and it would be the same set of numbers. So you wouldn't want that. So what you would do is seed that number and usually you can seed it with the time um, that's what a lot of the people do and seeding with the time gives it that randomness each time uh, but what arc for random does is it automatically seeds it for you so you don't have to do it and basically it's just a lot easier to use and it produces really great randomness um, so anyways I just got off on a tangent I'm sorry I hope that made sense and um, what we're going to do now is display our random number in a label. So we're going to do label.text equals space bracket uh, nss string 
and a string, sorry, string with format at two quotations, and inside those quotations, we're going to do my random number is and then percent i. And with percent i, that means we're going to display an integer right here. And then it doesn't know what that integer is yet, so we're going to do comma my random number. So now it knows what to display. So that's simple enough. That's all we need here. And um, now we can jump into our viewcontroller.xib. We're going to drag in a label and a button. Of course, you can make this as fancy as you'd like. Make the label a little bigger so we can fit all the text in. Maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm going to put some text on this button just by double clicking and say generate random number. Okay, um, now we're going to go into our files owner and click on our connections here. And we're going to drag our label to the label and drag our generate action to our button and select touch up inside. So that's all we need here, and we're going to click run and see how it works. Uh, give it a second. So here we are. Uh, we can just tap this, and as you can see, my random number is 166. Each time it is different, and I'm going to prove it to you by quitting the application and show uh, if it's correct, it should not show 166 again when it launches. So as you can see, it does not. It's completely random each time it launches and each time, of course, you press the button. And um, now let's say we want it just 0 through 10. So let's uh, change that code real quick. Um, percent instead of 500, you would do 10. So that would be any random number between 0 and 10. And give it a second here again. And as you can see, it does do any number between 0 and 10. So I hope you learned something from this. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.